Dave, you know Milton Nikolai. He's working the case for justice. Good to see you again, Mel. All due respect, can someone explain to me why I'm reading about breaks in this case in the Chronicle instead of getting calls from you? We got screwed. Dave, come on. You do get your name in the paper a lot. People talk. I don't ever talk about an open investigation, period. Okay, Ken? Dave? Hey. Hi. Paul Avery. Can I catch a ride with you, gents? Not, not a good down? idea, Paul. You can make me take a cab or we're going to the same place. Fair enough. Remember, smoking is in the last six aisles only. Enjoy your flight. Boss? Yeah. Hi. Inspector Dave Toski, SFPD. Oh, how you doing? Great. Thanks for having us down today. Oh, not at all. I know you have some uh, files for us. I'll show you mine. You show me yours. Frisco, huh? That's right. San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco. Ken Nala from Napa. Ken? Mel Nikolai Justice. Well, here's what we know. Sherry Jo Bates attended Riverside Community College. She studies in the library the night of October 30th, 1966. She leaves with an unidentified mail at closing, 9 p.m. Her body's found the next morning in a parking lot, stabbed to death. Her car is disabled. Someone cut the coil to the distributor, the battery died. That someone comes back, offers to help. Like Kathleen Jones? Who? A woman outside of Modesto. Might be a Zodiac victim. Might, might be. I have her uh, account right here in this file. Okay. A typewritten confession was sent to the Riverside Press Enterprise on November 29th, a month after Bates' murder. They ran it. I'm not sick. I am insane, but that will not stop the game. This letter should be published for all to read. If it wants to be published, he calls it a game. I mean, this could be our boy. Six months later, the police, the girl's father, and the paper, they all received these. Double posted, just like Zodiac. These are what Sherwood Morrow matched to the Zodiac letters? Hmm. These in the desktop, Don. This was found a couple of months later by a janitor in RCC storage. Sherwood got a handwriting match off wood? Who etches in their own handwriting? To be honest with you. Our letters and your letters? I don't see it. How did Paul Avery get his hands on the exemplars? I gave them to him. We talked on a phone the other day for about an hour, and I told him you were going to be here. You, you told him we were meeting? Yeah. I also told him we don't think this is Zodiac. Okay, wait a minute. You don't think this is Zodiac? We got a guy we like for it. We don't have enough to pin it on him yet, but we're pretty sure it's him. If you don't think this is Zodiac, then why give anything to Avery? I'm trying to cooperate. Oh, that's how you cooperate? By giving information to reporters? Look, I don't know about the handwriting, but Sherwood says it's a match, right? So let's just say that your guy did Sherry Joe. He types the confession, Zodiac reads it in the paper, and he writes a letter taking credit for it. Now that's something he's done before. Look, now you have everything we have. But in my opinion, you guys came south for nothing. Prove bar, gentlemen, prove bar. I don't care what he says. It still could be Z. The problem is the entire state already thinks it is. There's your press agent. Talk to him about it. Come in peace. I don't want any trouble. Dave? Well, I really don't want to talk to you right now, Paul. Just trying Not to do my now. job. Oh, oh, really? Well, now I can't do mine. We already screwed up the amount of tips we got on this thing, and, and you've just freaked out the entire state. I've got Napa, Vallejo, and DOJ looking at me sideways, and Riverside's telling me I'm on a snipe hunt. Sherry Joe Bates was a gift. I gave that to you. You and Armstrong never would have found This may not be Zodiac. Does that matter to you? Does it matter what that Riverside is? may not be able to make a case against her suspect because of you? Tell it to Sherwood. I'm out here beating the bushes, trying to draw him out. We're in this together. Well, we're not in anything together, Paul, because I'm not interested in upping my circulation. Oh, boy. He wrote me. He threatened my life. Hey, bullet. Been a year and a half. You gonna catch this fucking guy or not? Go fuck yourself. Happily. You should have called me, Paul. Yep. Did you see this? Unfortunately, yes. Here comes every lunatic in California. I'm the Zodiac. And how did you kill your victims? With a gun? No. 
with a hammer. All I'm authorized to tell you is that he's still under government employment. And who authorized you to tell me this? That's all I'm authorized to say. Only a little rat bastard like Andre could have done something like cut off all the victim's hands. Zodiac didn't cut off any of the victim's hands. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Travis and I worked here side by side for 10 years. His foot gets crushed in an accident and the killings begin. Coincidence? I don't know. You're a cop, man. Do the math. Have you considered the killer might be Paul Avery? Frequently. 